Clinical trials help physicians and researchers find better ways to prevent, diagnose, and treat cancer. For many patients, participation in clinical trials improves outcomes and quality of life. Thanks for joining us for this week's health news you can use. I'm Lindsay Stish. This week, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're talking about the innovative treatment options and clinical trials offered at St. Luke's. With me today is Dr. Tim Pluard, the medical director of St. Luke's Kuhn Center for Advanced Breast Cancer and of St. Luke's Cancer Institute. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, so first of all, what are clinical trials and uh, why are they so beneficial to patients? So clinical trials are the means by which we test new drugs and ultimately, and hopefully, get them approved for general use in the population. They generally go through three phases. The first phase is really to try and determine the safety of the drug in patients. The second phase, once we have an optimal dose out of phase one, is to determine in a larger population how effective is the drug. And then finally, if it's shown that effectiveness, it moves on to phase three studies where it's compared to the current standard therapy to see if it's better. Okay. Uh, now, are clinical trials only for those with advanced disease, or are they used in patients uh, with early stage cancer as well? While we typically study new drugs in more advanced stage disease, ultimately, if they prove effective, we try and use those same drugs in earlier stages of breast cancer. And in that setting, we're trying to do really two things. One is to improve the effectiveness, but also can we de-escalate treatment uh, and make it less toxic for those patients, okay, and more great. tolerable. Right. Uh, now, how has St. Luke's expanded access for clinical trials to patients? Well, within the Coot Center, it's one of our primary uh, focus is to have clinical trials available for every patient at every time they have a treatment decision to be made. We've been relatively successful compared to the national average of about 5% of patients enrolling in clinical trials, about 20% of patients in the Kuhn Center participate in clinical trials. That's allowed us to be active participants in clinical trials that have led to five new breast cancer drugs recently. So as a consequence of that, we've also become a go-to site for industry and pharmaceutical uh, sponsors of clinical trials. So that's allowed us to expand our menu for patients. Uh, and it probably we have uh, as many active clinical trials for metastatic breast cancer than most centers in the U.S. Okay, that's fantastic. Now I understand St. Luke's also has a newer capability to match patients with clinical trials quicker. Can you tell me about that? So genomic sequencing of the tumors has been standard practice for us in metastatic breast cancer. And the purpose of that is to try and identify a mutation in that individual's cancer that may be driving its growth mm -hmm. and to match that to a, a drug, if available, that would block that mutation. The challenge is, is that having clinical trials available for all of these relatively rare mutations is not feasible. To maintain a clinical trial, it requires a lot of work to open. It takes about six months time. So we've partnered with our, our Tempest Labs, our genomics uh, partner, and they have a menu of about 60 clinical trials that match potential mutations that we could treat. And the goal is really, we've done all the work and in the infrastructure um, to be able to open these trials for a specific patient in two weeks. Wow, wow, much quicker. Um, okay, now, there are also several subtypes of breast cancer. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about the most common subtype and uh, any new treatments specific to that? So when we talk about subtypes of breast cancer, we're generally referring to three different subtypes, the estrogen-dependent subtype, and then HER2 and triple negative subtypes. In the estrogen-dependent, population, we treat those patients specifically with drugs that target the dependency on estrogen of those cancers. And we try and do that as long as possible in order to avoid transitioning to chemotherapy, which is much more toxic for these patients. We know, however, that the cells develop resistance, and about 40% of them develop resistance by altering their estrogen receptor in the cancer cells. 
So we now have a new drug that targets that population, which represents just under half of all patients with estrogen-dependent breast cancer, again, which is the most common cause of death from metastatic breast cancer. So that's a huge benefit to a large number of patients. Okay, very exciting. Have there been any recent exciting developments in treating breast cancer in addition to that? Probably the most exciting development over the last several years has been the emergence of antibody drug conjugates in which we essentially take chemotherapy and attach it to an antibody that's targeting a protein that's specific to the cancer cell and not present on normal cells. So we're really allowing targeted delivery of chemotherapy to cancer cells, which leads to greater effectiveness and also less in terms of side effects. That's great. So much more personalized care for every patient uh, over the last couple of, of decades. Correct. Great. Uh, well, what's your final message for anybody watching? I think that if you have metastatic breast cancer, you want to have access to clinical trials. You want to be treated in a center that has access to clinical trials because it gives you more therapeutic options. And not only therapeutic options, but also other studies looking at ways to maintain the quality of life in terms of exercise, nutrition, and psychosocial support, all of which we incorporate directly into our patient's care at the Kuhn Center. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. To learn more about the clinical trials offered at St. Luke's, visit stlukeskc.org slash st-lukes-research. You can also stay up to date with all the latest health news and stories from St. Luke's at stlukeskc.org slash news. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Health News You Can Use.